Ernest Borgnine endeared himself to a generation with the 1960s comedy McHale's Navy. Audiences first took notice of the stocky, gap-tooth actor, though, in the 1950s in villainous roles, notably as the vicious Fatso Judson, who beat Frank Sinatra to death in From Here to Eternity. Then came Marty, a low-budget film based on a television play where he played a 34-year-old butcher who fears he's so unattractive he will never find romance. Borgnine won the Oscar and awards at the Cannes Film Festival, New York Critics, and National Board of Review. He joined the Navy in 1935 and served on a destroyer during World War II. But his mother persuaded him to enroll at the Randall School of Dramatic Arts in Hartford. One day I went home and I was all set to tell my mother I'm going back into the service, do my other 10 years and get a pension. And out of a clear blue sky, she said, what's the matter, Ernie? And I said, Mom, I'm going back. And she said, have you ever thought of becoming an actor? That means we got Although still not a marquee star until after <laughs> Marty, the roles of the Go heavy started in, coming Chuck. regularly You're after friends, From Here really? to Eternity. No, really, Later, he successfully and made the transition to men's. TV comedy. From 1962 to, to 1966, one, Borgnine starred in McHale's Navy as the commander of a World I'm War II a PT boat with a crew of misfits. More recently, Borgnine had a recurring role as the apartment house doorman in the NBC comedy The Single Guy and was also the voice of Mermaid Man in the children's cartoon SpongeBob SquarePants.